personal pronouns in French. What are pronouns? Pronouns are words used instead of a noun. In French, we have personal pronouns. The personal pronouns in French are je. Je. As in, je m'appelle, I call myself. Je m'appelle Bringer. I call myself Bringer. Je suis écrivain. I am a writer. Je suis professeur. I am a teacher. Je suis content. I am happy. Okay, so the pronoun there is je. When followed by a verb that starts with a vowel, then je turns to je apostrophe. Okay, so you elise the e and you replace with an apostrophe. That's why we say j'ai un nouveau travail. So I can say je suis content parce que j'ai un nouveau travail. Je suis content parce que j'ai un nouveau travail. I am happy because I have a new job. Je suis content. I'm saying je suis because suis obviously starts with a consonant. So I don't need to elide the E. But j'ai. E from the verb avoir starts with a vowel. So I need to say j'ai. I don't need to say je ai. Okay? Do you understand? We also have tu. Tu. So tu in French means you. Okay, you when I'm referring to just one person, okay, or I'm referring to someone I'm familiar with. Okay, so tu es content, you are happy. If I'm referring to a man or if I'm referring to a woman, I'd say tu es content. Tu es content. Okay, so you can see I added E for the female. Okay, this will be covered in a different lesson. All right, so tu is our focus here. Je. I, tu, you. So if I wanted to say, your name is Sandrine, I would say, tu t'appelles Sandrine. Tu t'appelles Sandrine. The next one is il. Il. Il simply means i. Okay? Il s'appelle il. Il s'appelle. He is called or he calls himself. I can say, il est français, he is French, il est Suisse, he is from Switzerland, il est Nigerian, he is Nigerian. So, il there means he. The next one is elle. Elle. Elle means she. Now, you should know that il ou elle can also be used with for objects. For example, la table est dans le salon. La table est dans le salon. The table is in the living room. Okay, you can replace the table with elle. Okay, it is in the living room. So in French, il ou elle can also mean it. So we have je, I, tu, you, il, i, elle. Okay, you use elle for women or ladies, the feminine gender. Okay, elle est professeur. Elle est journaliste. She is a journalist. Elle est gentille. She is nice. Okay? Elle means she. Then after elle, you have nous. Nous. That means we. Okay? Nous sommes contents. We are happy. Nous sommes anglais. We are English. Okay? Nous aimons le pays. We love the country. Okay? Nous. Nous means we. Then you have vous. Okay? Now, vous also means you. But when you're referring to more than one person. Or when you're using it in formal situations. So, if you wanted to use the pronoun you. For your director. Your boss. Um, the president of your country. Someone you're meeting for the first time. It's preferably to use vous for them. Okay, so you use vous for this kind of people. But if you were talking to your friends, people you're cool with, people you're familiar with, then you use tu. Okay, vous can also be used when you're referring to more than one person. Okay, say you have three kids in front of you. You say, okay, you, you, and you. Um, I want you guys to go out of here. Okay, so you can see in that sense, you use vous. Okay, so... Vous dégagez. Vous dégagez. Or dégagez-vous. Dégagez-vous. So in French, vous there means you. And it tells us that you're referring to either 
more than one person or someone apparently superior to you and the next one is il okay just pronounce as i l but it's plural il il as in ils sont contents they are happy ils sont sénégalais they are senegalese ils sont okay plus whatever they are it means they so when do you use il you use il when they are all masculine or when they're mixed of masculine and feminine okay so even if there are 100 girls and there's just one boy one small boy i miss them you use il okay the other one is l okay l also means day in french but strictly used for only ladies okay so when you see two ladies three ladies five ladies and you want to say wow they are pretty you say wow elles sont belles elles sont belles or you say elles sont jolies elles sont jolies okay meaning they are beautiful all girls okay you also have on okay on in english on can translate to one it can translate to we it can translate to they as the case may be so for instance you could say um ici on parle français ici on parle français now this sentence can translate to air yeah, we speak french it can translate to air yeah, one speaks french and it can translate to air yeah, they speak french okay so the personal pronoun on can be used depending on the context as one as we or as they as the case may be for instance i say au nigeria on mange du riz au nigeria in nigeria on mange du riz depending on the context is being used that sentence could mean in nigeria one eats rice it could mean in nigeria we eat rice it could also mean in nigeria they eat rice okay depending on we speaking and the context okay and you should also know that um in contemporary times people use on it's really when speaking much more than no okay so they use no they use on in the place of no so if you wanted to say we are happy instead of saying no some content some people can say on est content okay on est content de te voir we are happy to see you on est content de te revoir we are happy to see you again so we can say uh, on est d'accord meaning we agree on est d'accord do we agree so you are with your team members and your boss asks you vous êtes fatigué vous êtes fatigué are you tired say, oh, oui on est fatigué oui on est fatigué instead of we oui, nous sommes fatigués so this should not come as a shock to you in recent times the french people often use on in the place of no okay we oui, on est fatigué we oui, on a faim yes we are hungry or we oui, nous sommes très fatigués yes we are very tired now when do you use personal pronouns you use personal pronouns to avoid repetition okay so say you are trying to describe your friend richard and you say um his name is richard richard is french richard est français richard is rich richard est riche richard goes to the cinema richard va so to avoid repetition you can use e instead so il s'appelle richard il est français il va au cinéma il est riche all right so i want you to replace this nouns with a pronoun Ma sœur est à la maison. Ma sœur est à la maison. If you don't want to say ma sœur, what would you use to replace ma sœur? My sister. Hmm? Elle, super, elle. What about les touristes viennent du Portugal? Les touristes viennent du Portugal. The tourists come from Portugal. What if you wanted to say they come from Portugal? What would you say? Mm-hmm. Il vient de Portugal, okay? So we don't know whether they are masculine or feminine. So you could say il vient de Portugal, or you say elle vient de Portugal. What about les chaussures sont en cuir? Mm-hmm. What would you use to replace les chaussures? You ask yourself what gender is les chaussures? 
feminine and plural. Des, good. So, des in French is il ou elle. Since they're feminine, you use elle.